Hey guys, it's Jason from CNC Labs here. Uh, we got a little top tip for you guys that are running our latest uh, clamping nuts on the Z-axis and you're installing your sensors, but you're having some difficulty with it. Just to let you know, the sensors, uh, sorry, the clamping nut has changed uh, from our Acme nuts, the brass ones, to these very durable, very thick uh, clamping nuts. Part of it, we have run into a small little issue with the sensors where they need to be tighter to the Z gantry plate located here. If you've got the sensors with the new clamping nut, you might find that it's not triggering the Z sensor as uh, efficiently as you'd like. The fix for that is to move this sensor close to the gantry plate. It needs to be really close. It looks dangerously close, but I assure you it, it'll be perfectly fine. As well as there's a slight adjustment with the two mounting nuts. What you want to do is undo them and lift your router mount up and then redo them. This will give you just a little bit more material for the sensor to activate on and it should be ready to go. Once you make those little adjustments, you should be fine. Okay, I've got a close-up set up uh, just so you can see in detail kind of what I'm talking about. The little nut down here, the little screw down here can hit against the nut. And so what we want to do is we want to loosen up the two mounting screws Raise this up a little bit, you can kind of hear it, uh, make that thunk sound, and then give it a tighten. Once again, don't over tighten these, you will have a bad day if you do. So just tighten it up. You can raise up your router, and you can see just how close the sensor is to the router. There's probably a couple of sheets of paper of distance in between the two. Don't worry, they won't hit once you've got it set it up. Just make sure those nuts are nice and tight. You may have seen that we have some new clamping nuts for our lead screws. They're black little nuts with much larger uh, M5 screws. They really hold well onto the ends of our lead screws. Just want to make a note out there for customers that have purchased a machine that have the brass Acme nuts. You can use the black clamping nuts on all the lead screws except for this one. Always replace your Z-axis lead screw with the brass Acme nut because uh, there has been an update to the nut as well as this gantry plate and unfortunately the black one won't fit onto here. So anytime you need to make an adjustment or uh, make a replacement, always update with this one.